Hey guys, it's Keyonce here, and today I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of Vampire, the new action RPG that came out about a week ago. Here's the description. Cursed be the choice. London, 1918. You are a newly turned vampire, Dr. Jonathan Reed. As a doctor, you must find a cure to save the city's flu-ravaged citizens. As a vampire, you are cursed to feed on those you vow to heal. Will you embrace the monster within? Survive and fight against vampire hunters, undead skulls, and other supernatural creatures. Use your unholy powers to delve into and manipulate the lives of those around you. Struggle to live with your decisions. Your actions will save or doom London. Become the savior or the stalker. With a web of interconnected citizens which react to your decisions. And fight and manipulate with supernatural abilities. Alright, let's get this thing started. So yeah, what I was saying was I was reading an article online and it basically talked about like the NPCs were so important in the game that if you killed them, they would basically, the NPCs would like, if you killed them then you couldn't like have quests from them later on so you would like, you can basically affect the quests you have later on by killing them. And being that you're a vampire, you kind of got a feed to eat, you know what I'm saying? So all those things are very important in this game so I like how the role play is very detailed in this game difficulty is tied to your actions the more lives you take the easier the game will be well well we yeah, are basically I just got this game but I've been kind of saving it to stream and to make a YouTube video on it but I've also been having a lot of audio issues like just a couple seconds ago, so hopefully I get no more audio Twelve issues from this. Twelve for the Red Queen under Crown of Stone. Eight voracious beasts born from eight restless nights. Four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner. One prayer for the summoned called by this song. It is perhaps the countdown to oblivion for the once proud city of London. It is perchance her inhabitants last dance alone to face death and pestilence. Confronted by the eerie and unknown, mortals became desperate for answers. A flock's flight makes for an omen, the falling of a star, a dire presage. Turning to priests for interpretation when there was no reason to be found. When religion failed, men turned to science. I saw them build such vain cities, crafting machines so made is this for the main character? war. New questions flourished as old answers withered. What is darkness but lurking sun? What is war but enslaved stone? What is glass but I'm assuming this is the main character. What is song but a call to arms? What is hate but jilted love? What is life but death? Pending. Okay, what an intro. Hmm, okay, so let's see what this game is really about. Death. Since the apple was plucked from the sacred tree, mortality was believed to be God's punishment. A righteous snare to keep mankind from ascending to the stars. They were all so Death is not a wicked thing, nor some holy retribution. A true punishment would be to never know its sweet kiss. I hope I didn't kill all these people. The harshness and be born once more. I think this is me. I think this is me. Okay. So can we get some color? Some color would be nice. How did he even end up here? That's what I want to know. How did he end up in a pile of skeletons and dead bodies? Oh. 
Okay. Wow. He is fucked up. <laughs> okay. So none of the buttons work except looking around and moving. So I guess I'm not blood. Okay. Well, blood. I'm assuming what he needs is blood. But roaming around. It's definitely all I can do right now. Can I lick this? Is it gonna let me lick this off the ground? Maybe feel better? Ooh. Okay, that seems like somebody I need to. So <laughs> okay, some dialogue maybe? What is going on? Later or have to make action. My sweet brother. Not her not his sister. What have you done? Mary! What a plot twist. I kind of feel bad. I really feel bad. Hold on. Please, hold on. I feel so bad. Okay, so is he going to save me or... Oh, well, she's dead. No. She's dead. Sister, though. It's horror. It's a nightmare. No, please, a moment. Let me explain. Ooh. Ooh. So he's throwing me in the action. <laughs> I'm getting thrown into the action. All right. These patrols are after me. Is there a way to spring? No, no, okay, don't that's shoot. Exactly what I want to do. What, what this is, is a this nightmare. Thing? What is this? What the fuck? I need to get out of here. Um. This can't be happening. Can he run any faster? <laughs> Over there! No, please, stop. Like, I mean you no harm. Oh, hell yeah. no. This guy got a big ass gun. Oh no, he's coming too. Is there a way to run faster? Because he's gonna kill What's me. going on? Okay. I'm out of here. Oh, Mary. What have I done? Okay. What's all this about? Shit, where'd it go? Okay. No. Oh. I can defend myself. Okay, this makes sense. Kill that makes Mary. a lot of sense. Okay. Who are you? Well, okay, so who are you, stupid beast? First impressions on. I'm sorry. Can I like loot him? I want to loot him. Nope. Okay, that's fine. Like, I really want to explore. Maybe it's not the time to explore. Maybe I can come back later. Oh, please stop! Okay, they are not fun. Who are you? Okay. okay. What do you want? See with the sick moves. All right. I mean you no harm. I I need help. Die, you fucking leech! Please, 
Listen to me. I can't make any sense of this. Shut up, beast! Who are you? What is this all about? Ah! ah what in God's sake? I'll do the rest ah, of the job. Ah, just, okay, just maybe get out the front. Ah, ah, right, come on. Ah, 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 Alright, so does he realize he he's a vampire? Cause... The sun. It feels like it's burning me to the bone. I don't think he realizes he is. I need to vampire. find somewhere to hide. Let me go! Okay, what is going on? Fuck him up, fuck him up, fuck him up, fuck him up. Hey! I need Where's to find crouch? shelter. Oh, it's so teabag. Let's see. Come on, come on. No, I can't crouch. I wanted to teabag him. Oh. Is anybody there? seems abandoned. I should be safe enough here. Okay, so what's going on? Okay, I don't think I'm gonna leave yet. Okay, new collectible, press the details button. If I knew what the hell that was. Okay, you know what? I don't care. Oops. Shitlings. Sh shillings. Okay. Shillings. I guess that's the currency. did this to us I will find them that's sad that's real sad okay the fuck is that <laughs> This one's dressed up fancy. Let's run through his pockets. Picking the dead's pockets? Are you serious? I've still a rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. What's this? Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fancy it and share the takings. <laughs> I suppose we are undertakers. <laughs> now, give him an eve. So I wonder if that's like one of his vampiric abilities, like to see flashbacks and whatnot. Okay, so do I go upstairs? I really want to see if this like leads outside or not. I had better remain here until nightfall. Okay, great. So it's definitely an exit that I don't need to go to. to accomplish 
that's sad. That's real sad. I still have so much left that needs doing. Okay, more shillings. The currency of the game. Save him. That's the enemy coming. The orders are to evacuate the hospital. <sighs> Done. He'll live. And now what? We fight. Killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing. Look at all this happen. No, it never got easy. Okay, so these are fragments. Hopefully we'll get more information soon. Um, is, that, is that a body or is that a head? Oh, it's a painting, okay. Oh, do I really have to read all this? Uh, I'll read it since this is going on YouTube. All right, 15th of October. Bad sleep, Becky coughed all night and the fever made her delirious. I heard a loud noise in the morning. It's a big machine some men brought by the banks to dig a hole in the ground. It was some sort of mechanical shovel. Maybe I could go there and ask for some work. Becky needs medicine. 16th of October. I talked to the men with the mechanical shovel. They told me they are digging mass graves all around London. Safety measures apparently. Is there a new epidemic? Is the flu coming back? They had no work. F they had no work for me. Becky slept a little last night. The foundry has been closed, and there are no more jobs nearby. Nineteenth of October. I went to London to find some groceries and drugs. No trains. It took me the whole day to cross the Thames and come back. Becky seemed better. I made, I made a soup she ate. I found no drugs, only a few syringes, and some sleeping pills on the black market. We have no money left. Maybe I could go to Pembroke Hospital tomorrow, but it's so far, and I fear for leaving my wife for so long. 19th, 19th of October. Becky threw up the meal a few hours after she ate. She is so frail now, it makes me cry. She says she hears voices outside all night, at night. She says she wants to eat meat. Where would I find meat? Tomorrow. I'll barricade the house to protect us from looters. 21st of October. The men with the mechanical shovel have stopped digging the mass grave. I heard shouts last night as if they were attacked. Now there are only a few boats throwing bodies day, day and night into this giant hole. The smell is terrible. We should have left this house a week ago, but Becky, she refuses to leave. She'd rather die. She said with a nasty smile. Why is she torturing me so? Okay, you know what? I'm just going to stop here and let people who want to read it pause the video. You said, why can't he see himself in the mirror? Uh, he is a vampire, so... Oh, why can he? Well... I cannot answer that question. I don't... He seems more black, if anything, than the actual figure of him. Hopefully we'll see another mirror later on, because I don't know why he can see, like, himself in a mirror. Maybe, like, I know, like, in some movies, however, it's kind of like he can see, like, what he's wearing, but not necessarily, like, his head in the mirror. That's normally how I've seen movies done. Okay. So, all right. No sense at all.
It's a nightmare. That's it. This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. Madness it is. As mad as the moon. Contains blood in sunlight. Into a glowing flesh. What in the world is going on? <laughs> okay. Evolution hideout beds allow you to evolve and rest. Spend experience points to level up and improve your vampiric skills. Okay. Begin by selecting the available skill autophagy. I, I'm, assuming, I'm assuming that's autophagy. You drain your own blood to heal normal and aggravated damage instantly. Okay. The, vi the vampire uses the power of his blood to heal normal and aggravated damage, increasing his flesh, nerve, and bone regeneration. With time, his vampiric ability can be extremely powerful and is sure to surprise any unwary vampire hunter. We think of vampires as immortal, but you can block their na unnatural regenerative capabilities they are more vulnerable than you think, but if you can block, okay. Let's grab some bats. Okay. Can I, can I get this? No. Okay. Okay. What else can I get? I want to get something else. Okay, up here. Claws at close range. A close range strike that will cut through all living creatures in front of you. Ooh, sounds tasty. Blood spear. You throw a spear made of blood, which can pass through enemies in front of you. Shadow mist. Place a cloud of shadows at the target's feet or yours. The cloud will explode after a short time, causing heavy damage. Uh. These are all really nice but I don't know which one to get um I like the sound of this but this also seems useful okay I'm gonna go okay blood spear aggressive the vampire wields blood and throws it like a spear this power can take time to charge but is deadly effective at medium to long range. It's a powerful supernatural tool for vampires who don't like close combat. If you cannot avoid the bloodsucker's attack, just try to keep your mouth closed. I'm gonna get this because I slick like close combat. Alright. As natural pred predators, vampires have reached some gifts from Mother Nature. Have received some gifts from, gifts from Mother Nature, like claws instead of fingernails. These natural weapons can easily cut through tissue and are very useful for piercing a prey's arteries. 
arteries. I don't know. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Okay. So now I'm out of experience. Okay. That voice in my head. If I'm not Alright. Okay, I figured out what that bar was. Alright. Eternal thirst. Night is here again. I am in London now. Somewhere near the east end docks, I suppose. I don't know this part of town. All I know is this all I know is this. Someone is killing people here. Murdering them, butchering them, drinking their blood. Making them like him. Making them like him? Is is that what happened to me? My poor May. My poor sister. I must follow the blood trail, find answers. Maybe I should start by gathering information about what happened to this place when while I was away. Then I will find who did this to me, who made me what I am now. Okay. And I guess the lore I saw earlier would be up in here. But okay, so, and I guess these are the different types of people. Uh, I'm gonna look through that later. It must belong to the one who made me. What I am. I must find him to understand what I have become. Where is it? It's gone. These people want me dead. I need to leave now. Offhand weapons. Offhand weapons can be used by pressing triangle. They have attacks with special effects and consume stam stamina. Okay. I'm still in Southwark. I must reach the West End. Go back oh, up. To use your stake and inflict stun damage. Use X to bite a stunned enemy. Binding an enemy provides you with blood to use for skills and it also refills your head. Strength. Strength I never knew I had. Okay. I cannot enter. So what do I do? Oh. Okay, didn't see that. Easy does it, boys.
join the ranks. Your king and country needs you. Join the British ranks and help the brave lads at the front. My poor sister. If only I had controlled my need for blood. Mary, someone will pay for what happened to you. For what happened to us. I have this. First, it's locked, all right. Jump. I can now control it. I cannot enter. It's locked. Any more racks? I'm doing this. I have this thirst for blood. What will London have to say to me? I cannot enter. I have so many questions unanswered. man has been drained of all blood, but I can still smell the scent of it. I follow the scent's trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. Fresh blood. The smell. Something dire must have come about. Where has everyone gone? According to the blood patterns, that's where the victim was attacked. So that must be the killer's trail. Okay, a new hideout. A new hideout is available in the district. I did not read that as fast as I should have. <laughs> that's strange. The trail is very erratic. As if the killer was drunk or hesitant. Okay. Ooh, this is a game. Okay. At last, Welcome a little life. I think. Okay, so you can see people's. Whoever he may be, the killer recently entered this bar. Maybe some of the locals saw him. There's gotta be something can be done to get out of this bullshit mess. I think I'm losing my mind. Good evening, sir. I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. <laughs> I apologize for my outfit. It's been... It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. Alright. Ooh, so you have a option wheel. I like that. Did anyone enter the bar? What is going on around? I hear. What's going on around here? It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. Who is the sewer dog? It's just a fairy tale. Who is the sewer Who dog? Who is the sewer dog? It's a local bogeyman. Convenient answer for every crime that happened for decades. You murdered someone. Blame the sewer dog, eh? 
Is it just a fairy tale? You make it sound like it's a fairy tale. People will always believe in monsters. It's easier than accepting their own darkness. We can all be monsters. Back. Anyone Has enter anybody the entered the bar recently? Can't say. Sorry. I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bottle. See? This is important, sir. Are you sure no one has come in here in the last few hours? I don't know and I don't care. This is a free country. People still have the right to come and go, don't they? I'll leave you to your bottle then. He was pretty much useless except for telling me people are dying. Oh God, sir. You look like Jonah's whale. Just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not... Not thirsty. Well, grab a chair and get some rest. This is going to be another long night. What is this place? Where am I? Where is this place? You're at my bar, sir. The turquoise turtle. The last ray of light in this dangerous part of town. Aren't you scared? Aren't you scared? scared of what? All the bad shit happens out on the foggy streets. <laughs> and I never go outside. So you're open all night? Yep. Figured people might need a place to rest in these dark times. Why is it going to be a long night? You must be new around here. Don't you know about the murders? Tell me more about these murders. Every morning for the last few weeks, bodies have been found. And those poor sods didn't die of flu. Do the police have any leads on a suspect? Ah, even before the outbreak, coppers never came round here. We're on our own. People die in these parts all the time, and no one cares. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. How long has he been here? He rented the room a few days ago and didn't say when he'd leave. Who is this man? What does he look like? Well, like a gentleman, I guess. Well dressed, quite polite. A professor or something fancy like that. Always writing, reading notes. I need to meet this man. I have questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, sir, uh, yes? no funny business, you hear me? This is a respectable establishment. All right, so... Okay, I thought this was the man, but it's a woman. Hello, sir. Are you all right? Is there any way I can help you? I don't know. Maybe you could just talk to me. Maybe you prefer to speak with Tom then. He's more agreeable talking to strangers. What's going on around here? Where is everyone? Too many dead, sir. First the epidemic, and now all these terrible murders. The murders? What can you say about them? Bodies found in the streets every morning. Drained of blood. It's just horrible. Some say the sewer dog is back. The sewer dog? What's that? No one knows. People have always disappeared around these parts. The ancients say it's the sewer dog coming out to feed. But now he's killing in the streets. What have you heard about the epidemic? It's a Spanish flu. Yeah. Killed so many last summer. Thought we'd seen the last of it. Dozens dying every week. Are the authorities doing anything? Nothing. There are so many quarantine zones in London now. It's gotten really hard to travel across town. What is this place? This is Tom's bar. A turquoise turtle. I'm the barmaid here, Sabrina. If you want to know. Are you always open this late at night? No, it's only since the epidemic started. 
Tom thought the people may need a safe place to stay. You don't seem to have much business. Where is everybody? Well, most people are sleeping right now. And those that are awake tend to avoid going out. What with the murders and all. I just want to talk. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not afraid, sir. It's just I've other customers to take care of. I only see one customer. Oh. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, I best check on them. Lying bitch. I'll leave then. Thank you. I would fuck her up. There's <laughs> gotta be something can be done to get out of this bullshit. Okay, it says confront the man on the second floor of the turquoise turtle. This is no place for you. Prewen has several patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require... Shh. I think someone is eavesdropping. Do you, sir? Hmm. You might as well come in, whoever you are. Slowly, vampire! <clears throat> Who are you? I mean you no harm. Say it, the vampire. Present yourself. What the fuck is going on? I... I need a word. With... Anyone. Oh. That's something I can do for you. Wow. Was that necessary? And who might you be? Tell me, who are you? First, tell me what you want. Then I may tell you. That's none of your concern. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, killing them, biting them. The calling card of a vampire, like you. You seem like an expert. This is not real. I am a victim too. I've been hunted down in the streets and attacked. I'm a victim here too. I... I believe you. Okay. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I am performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. What do you know? Who are you talking to? I heard another voice, that of a woman. Who were you talking to? Ridiculous. I have no idea what you're talking about. Something tells me not to trust you. It's brotherhood. Sir, if the name is not familiar to you, then we shall discuss it another time. What have you uncovered concerning the murders? It started a few nights ago. Rumors of violent murders. The docks have always been, shall we say, somewhat unsavory. But this is different. How different? A vampire is at work here. Famished. Reckless. It must be brought to ground, and quickly. Then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. The scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. Perhaps. This is all new to me. I'm not even certain what I'm looking for. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. 
How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I will at last have the answers to my questions. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. So that's it. Go hunt your shadow. Hmm. Interrogate the locals. I didn't deserve this. If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Someone must know something. I'm gonna ask this bitch. One more Evening, again. sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. <sighs> well, if you must. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. <sighs> it's Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. What happened tonight? He was dead drunk, as usual. But my God, his, his, his eyes, his face. He must have caught something awful. He shouted and, and cried. It was terrible. Why are you so afraid? I mean, his skin, his hands. I scrubbed every glass and every chair that he touched. God, I hope it's not contagious. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the canning factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, well... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. Citizen hints, you just discovered a hint. It reveals a secret about a citizen or someone related to them. Citizen details. As a vampire, you need human blood to evolve. The blood quality bar indicates the XP you will earn if you feed on this citizen. Unlock hints, unlocked hints increase the amount of experience. But I don't want to feast, well, I don't want to, like, drink people I know that well, you know what I'm saying? The blood quality of the citizens is largely influenced by their health and the number of hints you have gathered before embracing him or her. Okay, that, that's kind of nice to know. So I guess there's some more hints I need to get before. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what's the tea. Hello, sir. May I disturb you again? And you're still ugly as sin. Okay, he knows nothing. I'll leave you to your bottle then. I think I'm losing Literally a waste. I should just run Welcome back. Did you find what you were after? I can't say I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Okay, I'm sorry. I just really did not like that angle. I hope I live you again. Okay, what can I better. do for you? Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. 
Why lie to me if he is not your friend? I didn't lie. I said you were my only unannounced customer, and that's the truth. Who is he? William. Just an old sailor who loves his gin too much. He worked for years at the canning factory before it closed. Is he dangerous? Yeah. Like many drunks, he's all bark and no bite. He can barely stand up most of the time. How was he tonight? Was he different? Sicker than usual, perhaps. He whined and mumbled about how mean people were to him and how he'd like to talk to me outside, and then he left when I refused. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What'd you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? I do value the fact that it's like okay I had to try and see if I could jump off I do value the fact that um, this game like kind of lets you know I will get to the bottom of this intrigue what's being done to me to this city it lets you know on the mini map where you have to go instead of just like leaving you blindly. That's that's great. I love that in games. Okay. The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. This man was armed. He tried oh, to defend himself. himself. What's this? Some sort of note. Pre-win orders. Object. Multiple deaths in the dark region. We believe a nasty leech is involved. Locate the beast, purge it, and quickly. Warning. According to recent reports, the vampire is very violent. Approach with extreme caution. I know we lack men in this part of town, but I don't send rookies to investigate the case. If I'm correct, we've got a frenzied, a frenzied one killing each night. As always, search abandoned places first, like old houses, basements, sewers, or warehouses. Destroy the leech, brothers. Okay. These men, they're a company of professional vampire hunters. This corpse has been dried of its blood, okay, just like the previous the victim. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. Do I go here? Hunter. Gunner. Well, seems like we're going to be having some fights then. Oh lord, here we go. Can you crouch? Range weapons. Press Y to equip your range weapons with inflict standard damage and done. And stun. Ammunition crate. 
Good. I may need a lot of bullets. I feel like I'm back on the front line again. to shut it, Mr. Billy. If the man says a bloodsucker's dug in here, you've but one job, and that's to find it. And find it fast. Not a safe place right now, sir. Whoops. <laughs> Okay, resistance is some enemies are more resistant to certain types of damage. There are four types of resistances physical, ranged, powers, and shadow. Change indicates a medium resistance. Red, orange, oh, I can't read. Orange indicates a medium resistance. Red indicates a high resistance. Hmm. I said stay away, sir! Stupid! He's dead! Combat in this is thrilling. Just a thought, but one thing I think they should add is definitely... Okay. Okay, sorry. One thing I think they should add is definitely um, more animations for when you're... Uh... Okay. More animations to, like, drink people's blood. I think that would be really cool. But definitely, like, more added animations would definitely make this game be more immersive. Other than just, oh hey, you knocked somebody down. You know, like, pick him up, stuff like that. Okay. So I guess at this point it's no longer examination, it's just... Over there! Yeah, like, every time he's done, it's, uh... Stun it and pick them up, you know what I'm saying? Like, mix it up a little bit. Okay. Follow the dread, the blood. Okay. Rats and hideouts. Rats are often located near hideouts. Okay, well, I'm gonna eat you. Just because I can. Is it like a time limit? Okay. Hideout. You just found a new hideout. Here you can spend your experience while resting or crafting at items at 
the workbench. Okay. So what's this? I don't know what I'm refilling, I'm just pressing stuff. Ooh, shillings, okay. More currency. What's this? Okay, so crafting on a workbench, you can craft uh, medical treatments to heal sick citizens, serums to boost yourself, and weapon upgrades to improve and customize your weapons. You have enough components to improve one of your weapons. Select the melee weapon to upgrade it. I'm not doing that right now. Okay. Oh, there's a lot more going on here than I expected. Okay. Bite. Increase the damage inflicted when using bite in combat. Increase your life regeneration. Definitely damage. Definitely trying to increase the damage. Yeah. Increase the damage inflicted. I'm trying to do that again because. Okay, so all of these are hard biting. Whew. Alright, but yeah. Oh, no. Don't cancel. Confirm. Where the freak did they come from? Definitely a huge, definitely a huge, uh, a stun, not stun, but a huge drain on their health. Okay. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. Two-handed weapons. Equip a two-handed weapon and press and press Y to use the special ability. Uh, the scythe, for instances, can be used to parry on incoming attacks, inflict inflicting heavy stun damage if timed correctly. This place reeks of bloodshed. Okay, and I cannot use. What the fuck is going on here? This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. What the fuck? Okay, fuck him up. Okay. Doing what needs to be done. Victim. Oh. William, please. William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well, another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I'm a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock. They'll stray without me. <laughs> He's 
fuck me or <laughs> Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by skull? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized. Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. Bitch. By George of the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Who is this? Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just oh, taken okay, by the horse. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Yes. Go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. Okay. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I yep. must find a place to analyze the blood. Okay, is that it? We take board the boat. Okay. Where are we headed? We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... Is the boat stuck? Oh, what okay. manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? Oh, don't play me for a fool. You use me to locate that... Skull, you must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back, but I will tell you she values her privacy. Were mm -hmm. London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End, and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stone, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. How, Reed. How do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed. A surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it! I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed. Marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. And for that, you are right. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. 
I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed, and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Okay, so while this is loading, I'm just going to talk a little bit about my first thoughts. Combat, fluid, very well done. I have no complaints. The characters, from what I've seen, are very fleshed out. And they're meaty, like they have background story. And they're definitely people you're going to talk to, possibly need, and see later on in the game. The storyline, so far, is very Swansea, thank interesting. goodness, I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane, for I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a... Oh, a good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King and Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. It's locked. Take me to the hospital. I have accepted Dr. Swansea's help. I will work at the Pembroke Hospital. I have no choice. The man knows about my condition, about what I have become, a vampire. I can't believe this. I don't know anything about this secluded me medical facility. Everybody here will make will take me for what I am, what I'm not anymore. Jonathan E. Reed, the famous surgeon. I must lie to them all, to the patients, to the staff. This is my new home. Where will I hide from all who are after me? Where will I hide from everyone until I get a better understanding of what is going on here? Enter the Pembroke Hospital. Okay. Please, you've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass! Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. Me 
your guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. The blood quality indicates how much experience you will obtain from a particular citizen. The higher the blood quality, the more experience you'll get. Mesmerize. To drink the blood of your prey, you must first mesmerize them to lead them out of sight from others. Your mesmerized level must be equal or higher to the player's than the player's resistance. Press L1 to mesmerize. Okay, I'm pressing it. Follow the red shell to do just what Dance with him Pray. the dance of life and death. Press X to embrace or L to release him. Embracing him will provide, provide you with massive experience, but beware there will be consequences. Learning more about citizens and collecting. Okay, press X to confirm. I'm gonna release him. No more. Not tonight. Not like this. I will not take another life. Whoops. Okay. Whew. I really could have fucked them up, but you know what? It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go. But no famished hunter can run for long. Okay, so who is talking to me? I want, like, if I'm gonna kill somebody, I want to at least have higher experience to gain from them. I don't want to just ruin things, you know? And also, like, the game said, certain people will be quite... quite incremental later on in the game, so... These things are very important. I like this music. Good evening, sir. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. We met once before at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Tippett's, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now. Eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. What is the Pembroke Hospital situation? And please, speak freely. This hospital is not exactly the best of London. I'm sure you are used to working in a better environment. It's more than enough. In any case, the personnel of a hospital are much more important to me than the building. Don't be misled by appearances, Dr. Reed. This hospital does not lack talented people. It just lacks hope. He sounds horrible. What can you tell me about the staff in the hospital? Some are really good, and others are not so good. But during this troubled period, there is no time for slander. I prefer to focus on the positive character traits. Tell me more about cherished people, then. Nurse Brannigan is a pearl. She is the most helpful and dedicated nurse I've ever worked with. A clever and cheerful woman. You really seem to admire her skills. I'll go even further. If she was a man, she would be a damn fine practitioner. Any opinion about the management? I don't always agree with Dr. Swansea's reserve. 
But I must admit, he does all he can to keep this facility running during this crisis. Ah yes, the burden of command. I was fed up with this concept while serving as a medical officer. Don't get me wrong. Swansea's a good administrator. I just wish he would get out of his office down again. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. Hurry now, Doctor. It's freezing here. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide-and-seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. Already making the rounds? That's the Pembroke spirit. I'll ask our porter, Milton, to bring him back immediately. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor, with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. The voice I would like to ask bad. a few questions first. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you... It's right to assume Dr. Sw and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. Apologies, I've only just met him the once. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. The poor thing was in quite a state of shock. If you could point me in the direction of my room again, nurse. Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. Thank you, Nurse Crane. I'm not gonna remember that, but okay. <laughs> Good evening, Dr. Tippett. Dr. Reed, any good news to share? Okay, same guy. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. I hope there's not like a limit to the inventory because I want to pick up literally everything. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war, and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. Hmm. How is the situation around here? You want to hear the situation is all right? It's fucking awful. We lack everything, and it's getting worse every day. Are you really smuggling weapons through the hospital? And why not? I've already been attacked by patients, you know. And by gang members willing to steal my money. But you're not defending yourself. You're selling guns to civilians. You keep people alive your own way, Doctor. I offer them another way to protect their health. So what do you do exactly in this hospital? Apart from smuggling guns, I mean. I've been an ambulance driver since... too long, I guess. I'll bring sick people here night and day. It's a dirty job, but I get it done. Most of the time. Since you're on the front line, 
How is the sanitary situation in this vicinity? It's a complete disaster. It's even getting dangerous to enter some streets or buildings. Even the locals attack you. It sounds like things have been a bit rough recently. What's happened? Yesterday I got attacked by the patient I was bringing here. I escaped through the hospital's garden, but I lost my wallet when I was running. You left an infected patient outside the hospital. That's incredibly dangerous. Go there yourself if you want, but be careful, Doctor. I'd rather not bring your dead body back. Hmm. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Wow, I have like nothing. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And who are you? Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon? What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency? Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. Please, describe to me how you feel. What is it like to be a vampire? I can hear my body crumble from the inside as my flesh cracks and fades. I sense the last pulse of postulant blood within my drying veins. I need new blood. I see. Have you ever heard of Cotard Syndrome, Miss Howard? Never. It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules Cotard. The affected patients are delusional. They believe that they are putrefying, that they are dead, a, a ghost or a ghoul, or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Oh, sad and petty mortal. You can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. And you think it is I who am delusional. I'm assuming you must be a patient here. Am I right, Miss Howard? It's only a cover to hide from my enemies. I can leave whenever I want. As a woman, a, a spirit, fog, or bat. Who are these enemies you mentioned? Can you describe them? I cannot say for sure. But I sense their eyes on me from nearby. I, I, I feel them watching me every time I visit the garden near the morgue. The staff here are not your enemy. They're here to help you, to care for you. I'm not speaking of the doctors in white. I'm speaking of the men and women who hunt me, for I am a vampire. I see. Don't worry. These people will not find you here. I'll personally make sure they leave you alone. Thank you, mortal. But do not interfere with them, for you are no match for those that hunt me. Girl, okay, whatever. Like I won't just like rip your shit. Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? What do you require? Hmm? Proof of my powers? I'm curious to know who you were before becoming a vampire. No, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark. 
to your nocturnal activities. Wow. <laughs> I would have called that petty. That's petty. <laughs> I have wasted too much energy for so little result. Is this the Good same evening, woman? nurse. Good evening, doctor. I don't think we've been introduced okay. yet. My name is Pippa Hawkins. And I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, Doctor. How would you describe the situation at the Pembroke Hospital? It's serious. The flu is wreaking havoc amongst the staff and patients. We are running out of everything. Nurse Hawkins, the Spanish flu won't last forever. Even the Black Plague didn't kill everyone. I wish I could believe you. But what if this epidemic was worse? What if in the end, nobody was spared? You must get a hold of yourself, nurse. <sighs> Sorry, I'm exhausted. No one has any idea when this epidemic will be over. How long have you been a nurse? Well, long enough to see that the epidemic is winning. And no matter how qualified you are, don't tell me you'll change that. I don't like your attitude, Nurse Hawkins. Pessimism can be as lethal as the epidemic in times like these. <sighs> nurse Brannigan. Well, bitch, don't talk, then. How is the Pembroke staff? Especially concerning doctors. Why is Milton grumpy on a daily basis? Is it just an act? Milton's not the kind of man who's bothered about a bad reputation, whether he deserved it or not. Why does Milton dislike doctors? I don't know. Just ask him. But be warned. Milton is not the chatty type. Okay, so have some more information about Milton. And I can't find out anything else about her Goodbye, right now. Nurse Hawkins. Okay. Okay, I do not have the patience to talk to all these people. Alright, into the backyard garden. The good thing about this game, it seems like there's a lot to talk about with these people. I guess I need to choose a quest. How do you... Let's see... Main quest? Okay, can you... Where are the side quests then? You know what? Where is the backyard garden? I must know. Where I can find it. Thelma Hap. Croft said she was being watched by vampires. Okay, that was a bug. Where are they hiding? I should investigate. Oh, oh, I have to go up. Okay, makes sense. Never could keep anything from her. There needs to be a sprint button, cause like this, this is not it. I need to run faster. <laughs> um, okay, so I belong on this floor. Okay. All right, I'm down here. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. 
Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. <laughs> that would have been nice. I don't know what that means. Um, before I do that... Oh, I have to check. Oh, okay. Oh, why? Okay, so this is definitely something that they need to put in a patch or whatever. Because I am a vampire. I should not be able to see myself in mirrors. And that's definitely like a break in the lore. Like that. Alright, pausing so y'all can read it because I'm not about to. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Oh. Alright. The flower's dying. It needs water. So... Can I, like... Fill up the glass of vial? The flower's water? dying. I can't save it? It needs water. Okay, whatever. Um... You first need to analyze the components you found to unlock the new recipes. Alright, blood sample of William Bishop. Serum. Light regeneration serum. Regenerate 300 health points instantly. Then 150 health points over 15 seconds. Uh, I need... I, I guess that says famous to... Tabato? I don't know what that says. Okay, whatever. I need William some of that Bishop's stuff. blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time now. What is... I don't really use this as much as I probably should. I'm just gonna go and save up or whatever. Okay, if well. I'm to stay here until my research is complete, I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? Right, night shift. I have analyzed William Bishop's blood, but the result is only partial. The blood sample was much more unstable than human blood and showed heavy mutation, but this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. I need to gather more evidence of what is going on here. Time may be on my side, but not on London's. This epidemic is killing thousands of people. The whole city is on the verge of collapse. I am starting to believe all of this must be connected somehow. But I can't see any pattern or plausible explanation yet. For now, I must pay the doctor. I must play the doctor, and try to do my best to help those who may need me while I continue my search. Okay. Answer the door. Let me go in here first. Okay. Well, that's supposed to hear a knock. Doctor Swansea asked me to collect you, Doctor Reed. Hurry up! Don't be rushing me. Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... What type of hospital are you running? No antiseptics? You have been away too long, Doctor. With the war, and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce for months now. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance! This is the Pembroke! And space is luxury we don't have. 
Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps, Perhaps I should look there thing. first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. Okay. This hospital is hopeless as hell. Okay, so I'm assuming that head uh, icon is definitely something I need to take a look at. Uh, is this the garden? Scowl voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. combat though are there more okay find the wallet Milton and Pippa hmm so Mr. Hooks and Nurse Hawkins are an item <laughs> those two have hidden their affections well yeah I would have never I would have never guessed that <laughs> okay so that's nice to know Okay, so Milton was out in the front. Or was he? Where the hell? Where's Milton? Okay, here we go. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. I have some good news, Milton. What? The epidemic's over. I retrieved your wallet with all the money and a certain picture. Well, yeah, Pippa Hawkins is my girl. So what? Is it the difference of skin color that bothers you? Not at all, Milton. Good. Please, take this money anyway to remind you to keep your mouth shut. Not everybody's as broad-minded as you, Dr. Reed. Okay. What's going on between you and Nurse Hawkins? Pippa's tired. Tired of all this shit. Tired of all those corpses piling up. She's as depressed as I am. During the war, I witnessed a few couples just like you come together in difficult circumstances. It can be very damaging. Maybe you're right. But we support each other. And that's all that matters. You do realize you could both get fired. 
Hospital staff are not meant to have intimate relationships with one another. Come on, Dr. Reed. Do you know how many rules are broken in this hospital every day just to keep it running? There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. Okay, just being a little nosy. Goodbye, Milton. Okay, so I do want to talk to Pippa. That's definitely not Pippa. Okay. Yes, Doctor? That's not Pippa either. Okay. That's all for now, Nurse my, Green. My Thank you. Is, um. There is just too many people in this place for me to remember them all. Like, it's going to take a lot of time and a lot of patience to go through these people and, like, try and learn them all. I can see that clear as day. Okay. I'm going to check and see if this is Pippa right here. I can't see who that is. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. This is her. She won't talk to me about it. Okay, that's fine. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Alright. Move! Oh, damn! Okay. Oh. 70 meters. Okay, so I have to leave the hospital. Okay, after this quest or mission or whatever you want to call it, I think I'm going to wrap this stream up because I am hungry. This is a nice game though. I like the lighting. Lennox nice. They really did a great job of portraying uh, London in the, I think it was 1800s or 17, I don't know. Back in the day, I'll say that. They did a great job of portraying London as it was back in the day. The game really looks nice. I can talk a little bit more about the game um, it's different I like the combat a lot oh well <laughs> I'm gonna take a moment to I'm gonna take a moment to talk about that later on I guess I'll talk about it in the YouTube video I'm making okay let me just hold my fucking horses and I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of scary. This is kind of scary. I, uh, let me not leave. What the fuck do I hear? It sounds like something's upstairs, but I can't see anything with my, uh, oh, now I see it. Well. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. Poor man. Um. This key will surely grant me access to the basement. Do I want to go down there? I don't think I want to go down there. What the fuck? That's good. I didn't know who was doing there. Okay, Keyonce the Master Vampire Slayer. Although I am myself a vampire. So was that like a respawn or I cannot enter. Balls of Mars. Fortifiers. <laughs> as popular as they are ineffective. But they do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself useful. Okay. Watery, rich blood sample. Okay. What the fuck is going on? Okay. Rogue Skull. Rogue Skull. Rogue Skull. Okay, well. These skulls feed from corpses and the husks of animals. They're not after blood. surprises yep there are it's locked all right you just acquired a new type of offhand weapon plus Y to equip it to directly absorb blood equip it impressively Y2 directly, okay. Let's see. How do you equip it? I don't know, I am not good at <laughs> I kinda did not pay too much attention. Okay, let's see. Oh. So. Local investigations. A new citizen investigation is, inve is available. Okay. Citizen investigations are displayed. Da -da -da -da. You can start a new citizen quest by tracking it with square, then 
access to your map by to locate the area to explore. Okay. Ooh, so I can pretty much take his blood and whatever, whatnot. Dr. Tippets. Could I find some more out about him? Alright. Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this. Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Ew. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps? The chest was originally open to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, but the chest has been reopened. A puncture over the left lung, possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. Signs of internal bleeding. So, Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, causing the patient's death. And then, he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious error. It's time we talked. The doctor jumped out. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Let me... I really want to figure out... Oh. Warning, equipping with a two-handed weapon will unequip your offhand weapon. Ah, okay. Let me not do that. Let's look a pencil. Uh, magazine, reload time. Okay. But this is specifically for damage. I don't have any bullets. Okay, well, never mind then. Oh. Okay, time to have some upgrades. It's locked. Was he trying to get into here? I don't know. Okay. Where the hell? John Doe? Really?
to get my ass beat. sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. Oh, to drink blood is so tempting. Okay, I did not mean to do that, but while I'm here... <laughs> Sodium hypochlorite. Dangerous to administer, but efficient in the proper dosage. Okay, time to get the hell out of here. Something is still here. Thought I heard something, I just didn't know what it was. What now? <laughs> like what now? fight him again? I don't. Okay, great. Alright. I'm about to fuck this bitch up. You, bitch. Respawn, but which is good. Respawning is good. Okay. So you want some too? Oh shit! Hey, stuck up. down walls but apparently that was just I don't know if that's a glitch or what but yeah here we go this game is fun I'm really enjoying it the combat and whatnot but like he said one thing I was reading about was like, if you don't feed, the game is harder. And so I'm going to have to start feeding on people that technically I need in this game. Which is what I kind of don't want to do because you might need them later on. But I guess I'll start picking off the people I don't think are useful.
Hmm. I, I like the music. What am I doing? I'm supposed to go upstairs. But the music here... It's really nice. You know what would be crazy? I hope... They do it. So this is how I'll be able to identify people if I need to know who's who. Alright, that's good. But yeah, the crazy thing is, it would be crazy if like this place got raided by like a whole bunch of vampire skulls. Ugh. That would be sickening, but so enjoyable. Okay. Okay, so what exactly am I doing? What am I doing? Craft the treatment for fatigue. Okay. Okay. Craft it. Now. I need to talk to him. Good evening, Dr. Tippett. Dr. Reed, any good news to share? Um, personal questions. Kokoran, I want you to tell me about Mr. Connor. How did he die? What happened? He was my patient. He died because of my mistake. That's the blunt truth. What was the nature of the mistake? It was a two-fold error. My diagnosis was wrong, and the administered dosage was too strong. Why not stop practicing? Are you mad? I killed that man, I admit it, and it won't happen again. I have saved so many lives since then. But killing somebody is not... Who was this patient? I don't know. Some sick man from the docks. Maybe a fisherman. I had no time to talk with him. No one claimed a body. Hmm. Do you need any medical assistance yourself, Doctor? Come on, don't be ridiculous, dear colleague. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. Okay. Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, nurse. You've worked your first miracle, doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. Diseases. Diseases decrease the blood quality of a citizen. Use the correct medicine to heal them. Speak to the patient in the room base behind Dorothy to check his medical status. In here? As for me, 
Oh, blood. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. May I help you? I don't know if a third opinion is needed. Your colleagues are already arguing about my condition. I see. Would you mind telling me more about your situation? I'm Harvey Fiddick. All I want is to get me bloody arm fixed properly. This is goodbye not for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see. see you later. I can come back to you later, but as of right now. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I help at all? No. Really? Why are you here then? I don't want to talk. My throat hurts too much. I suppose that this pain is the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Yes. And no. Could you at least tell me your name, sir? Mortimer. Mortimer Goswick. <laughs> Diseases press. R1 to check the medical status of the citizen. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't mean to be a burden. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. Okay. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. All right. All right. That was my first let's play of Vampire. It was a lot of fun. My first thoughts on the game is that it's definitely a detailed RPG game with every NPC that you can interact with beyond fighting having some sort of significance. The combat doesn't the combat doesn't disappoint at all. The voice acting is great as well. One minor thing I didn't like about the game was the lack of fighting animation, particularly the fighting animation. But it wasn't that serious to hinder me from enjoying any of the combat or the rest of the game. So far it's been a great experience to play this game and the next Let's Play for Vampire will be out soon so stay tuned for that. So that's all for this video, thanks for watching, peace.